upon which we were elected by the people of Kenya. Again, to all of you and your families, congratulations. Pongezi. Pongezi, sir. I want to say a couple of things. Just by way of uh, welcoming you to uh, my team, uh, my good deputy here, and uh, to assure you that in the discharge of your duties in the various ministries that you will be serving, you will have my wholesome support. You will have my support because you have no option other than to succeed. Failure is not an option, good people. We have a country to look after. We have a plan to implement. And we have the people of Kenya watching us. So you will have my unqualified support so that you can succeed because in your success is the success of our administration and the success of our country. So um, from day one, I want to promise you my support. And the second item I want to say is I have listened to you very carefully as you took your oaths of office. And there are three fundamental things that you have sworn to. Number one, you have sworn to the Constitution. You know very well that this is a country based on the rule of law. I expect each and every one of you, as I do, of all public servants, to uphold the Constitution and the rule of law to be thrown and center in the administration of our government. That should be the guiding principle, the Constitution, all our laws, and making sure that our country is not run on the whims of individuals, but on the dictates of the Constitution. You have also sworn to serve the people. I didn't hear any one of you swear to serve their friends or their families or their regions or their religions. Each one of us here has sworn to serve the people of Kenya. That is the minimum expected of all of us. And you have sworn to advise the president, your appointing authority, as is required of you by the Constitution. I look forward to listening to you and your advice so that we can manage the affairs of our nation because even though I stand here as president, I do not have the memory of all knowledge. I expect that you will enrich the plans, the thoughts, the programs, and the plan we have with your, with your advice. The third thing I want to say is that by listening to you take your oath of office, let me repeat again, very carefully, and you said that you are going to serve the people of Kenya and you have been appointed to the cabinet of Kenya. That equally means that um, though we have dockets that have been assigned to each one of you, I didn't hear anybody say they, they've been, they swear to be a cabinet secretary for a ministry. You say it will be a cabinet secretary of Kenya. That means that you should be as concerned in what happens in the next ministry as you are in your own ministry. 
and that underpins the principle of collective responsibility. I do not expect any one of you to say things are not going right in the next ministry. It is your business. If things are not going right in the next ministry, it is your business to look for your colleague, sit them down, and things must go right in your ministry and in the next ministry. Because the principle of collective responsibility is a principle that is understood and is a principle that has been practiced. And therefore, that will be my minimum expectation that we will serve the people of Kenya equally and we will make sure that everything goes right in the docket that you have and in the government of Kenya. Because that is your forte. I wish also to say that you have sworn to serve the people of Kenya. The people of Kenya have elected their representatives. We have members of parliament, we have members of the Senate who are the people's representatives. I expect that we are going to work together in a respectful manner with our elected leaders. As the people's representatives, because all Kenyans cannot come to your office, they cannot come to um, prosecute their agenda. They have elected representatives. And we must take them as the people's representatives and work with them in a respectful manner so that we can achieve the goals we have set up for ourselves. Additionally, we have agreed with the legislature that they will provide a platform for us as members of the executive to access the floor of the house so that we can explain our agenda, we can explain our programs, they can interrogate what we are doing so that the people of Kenya can understand and make an input in every commitment we have made, every plan we have, and every program that we are going to run. So there will be an opportunity for you as members of the executive to interact much more robustly with parliament so that we can not only have a platform for us to explain our programs and to seek the support of the legislature in our programs, but for the legislature also to oversight what we are doing because they are doing it on behalf of the people of Kenya who elected them. So all of us must prepare ourselves because my intention and that of my deputy is to run an open government, an accountable government. We have no gray areas, we have nothing to hide. We want to serve the people of Kenya in the context and manner that promotes accountability, promotes transparency, and makes uh, sure that the people of Kenya understand what we are doing. <clears throat> and so, uh, friends, I have the privilege of having worked with all of you, maybe not maybe at not the same distance, but with all of you. So um, while I crafted this cabinet, I had to take into consideration many things, but um, uh, I look forward to us serving uh, the people of Kenya, even as we make other appointments, we are going to make sure that we carry the whole country along and we make sure that every person given a responsibility has the requisite understanding and knowledge so that we can be able to deliver uh, to the people of Kenya. I have said this in front of your families, in front of your constituents, so that they also become my witnesses. 
and that they don't come to harass you in your offices to do things for them so that they understand that you are serving the people of Kenya. <laughs> And, and I am sure that I have their concurrence and understanding. I know sometimes we don't reflect on the oaths that we take. An oath is a very serious thing. And I really expect that we will take it seriously. I will conclude with a word from the Bible. James chapter 4 verse 17 and I want you to record it somewhere and put it on your desk <laughs> because the, that part of the Bible says he who knows what is right and doesn't do it it is counted to him or her as sin good people I have told you what is right we have agreed what is right. So if you don't do it, you will not only miss heaven, but you will have a problem with me. <laughs> so, Nataka Nwaulize, Kwa Unyanyekevu, please. We have an agenda for the whole country, and the people of Kenya are really expectant on the delivery of our plan of our program and on the transformation of our nation. Again, to you and your families, my congratulations and I will support you in every way that I can. We will pray together so that God can help us to deliver on the agenda that we have. And I, want, I look forward to working with you in office, working with you in the field, uh, and I will encourage you to travel to as many parts of Kenya as possible, even if for whatever reason you are called Tanga Tanga, but I think it will be necessary <laughs> for each and every one of you to traverse Kenya so that you can better understand what Kenya looks like, what are the expectations of the people of Kenya, and so that we can craft the right responses and the right uh, decisions uh, for the people of Kenya. I am a very proud Kenyan this morning that now I have a team. For the last couple of weeks, my deputy and I have been struggling in, uh, in, in offices late into the night. Now we have a team. And uh, your celebrations will be very short-lived <laughs> because <laughs> I think you will be leaving your offices late. So the spouses, kidogo mutatufumilia, hawa watu pengine itabidi walale ofisini for the next couple of months until we have our plan in place. Uh, and, and, and I want to say again to the families, asante ni sana for supporting this uh, team and we promise you that you and the people of Kenya we promise you to do our best asante ni sana na mungu wa bariki we will clear the stage as your excellency goes round just congratulating the cabinet we'll have a brief photo session with all the cabinet secretaries with members of their immediate family so members of the immediate family we will have another session where we can